welcome to another Copperland workshop. Today we're working on a continuation of our natural gas generator. We'll bring you up to date on what we've done so far. We're using inch and a half by inch and a half by one eighth inch wall steel tubing to create a base to put an engine and a generator on that'll be uh, the carburetor will be fitted to run on natural gas and we're figuring on saving about 50% on the high cost of electricity. Up here in the UP, Upper Peninsula of Michigan, we have the highest electrical rate of the contiguous states. If you don't know what contiguous are, that's the lower 48. This excludes Hawaii, which is the highest. I believe uh, Alaska is probably the second highest and we're the third. We pay 28 cents a kilowatt hour over 28 cents and that's outrageous. The average for the country is about 12 cents and we're told by the uh, by UPCO, Upper Peninsula Power Company, because it costs so much money to push electricity up here we got to pay more than double what everybody else in the country does. Well, if you know anything about Michigan, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, people up here are not wealthy. They're on the bottom of Michigan's economic scale. They cannot afford to pay high cost electricity. So this first project we're getting into for Copperland is to demonstrate how people who have to work on a very low fixed income can take the cost of electricity and cut that bill about in half every month. And that's by uh, running a generator on natural gas which at this point is very inexpensive. It may get more expensive later but if that happens we'll go into other options like wind power and solar power. Anyway, into the project, we started out with an 11 foot long piece of inch and a half by inch and a half. We cut it into two long rails which are 36 inches each. Cross rails are all the same length at 15 and 3 quarters. And as you can see, we set up two rails spaced closely together to match the bolt pattern of our 12 to 15 horsepower Briggs and Stratton gas engine. These two rails are drilled and spaced for the generator, which is a 7 kilowatt 110 220 generator. And we'll be running that on a direct drive coupler and in a later a later workshop we'll show you the components but for now we're going to just look at how to weld this thing up. So far we've tack welded the four cross tubes we tack welded with uh, with 6013 3 30 seconds inch rod with our compact but powerful Northern Industrial Hybrid MIG Stick 200, 200 being 200 amps. You can run that 35% duty cycle at 200 amps. So we'll get that set up, we'll get all this set up, and we'll use strictly the MIG gun today to finish up the welds.